cancelled. Sweezy. This is our first article from our friends over at NBC9 News. Now, when I say our friends over at NBC9 News, I mean we have no affiliation at all. So, um... Are cats psychopaths? And new research says probably. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. Uh, have you ever wondered what was on your cat's mind? Well, a new study suggests that it may be something a little darker than we'd like to think. Researchers at the University of Liverpool and Liverpool John Moores University surveyed several pet owners to see what level of psycho psychopathy uh, their cats landed on based on human standards. Their findings were published in the December issue of the Journal of Research in Personality. Uh, what they found was that a majority of cats surveyed fell under the spectrum of psycho psycho psychopathy. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but that's all I'm going to say. To narrow down how a cat could be considered a psychopath, uh, researchers asked four, 549 pet owners questions like, my cat vocalizes loudly, examples meows, yowls, for no apparent reason, my cat runs around the house for no apparent reason, and my cat does not appear to act guilty after misbehaving. The triar triarchic triarch Kick concept of psycho psychopathy uh, was used to create a new feline center criteria for psych psychopathy. Uh, under the triarchic uh, concept level of boldness, meanness, and disinhibitation, and used to measure psychopathy in humans. Cats check all three of those boxes, but two other ta traits emerge human unfriendliness and pet unfriendliness. In an interview with Vice's mother board, researchers said the reason cats may fall under the spectrum of psychopathy is due to the animalistic and wild nature. If you'd like to figure out if your cat might be a psychopath, click here to find out more information on a test. I did not click that. Uh, this is a podcast. I'm just reading shit. Um, that being said, though, um, it's kind of funny. And it's weird because, like, I've met cats that really do like you, and then you meet cats that just don't give a shit about you or anything you do. So this is a really funny uh, kind of, like, concept to think about um, because, like, I've met kind of both. And then if you, when you earn a cat's trust, you know, they want to sit on your lap, they like you and shit like that. And, uh, when they don't, it's not a problem. And, uh, cats are just very strange creatures. And, uh, yeah, I think it's funny if they're psychopaths or not. Uh, that is pretty funny. But, uh, also, like, the weird thing with cats, like, you can, dogs seem, dogs will seem like they know when they're misbehaving and you know, they know when you're mad at them. It feels like cats also it feels like sometimes cats may not know, or they do know, and they just don't give a shit. Maybe that's the reason why someone thought about this. This is a weird subject to think about when you think about animals and stuff like that. Um, stuff like that, you know, we have Frank, we have another cat in our home, too, and that cat, like, hisses at you, and I, like, go and pet it and lift it up, and she doesn't, like, try to attack me or anything. So it's a weird, it's a weird situation. And uh, you can say cat around Frank, and he gets all gets all angry and wants to run around outside, but then he sees the cat that lives in our home and uh, does does not do anything about it. So Frank is Frank is a weird dog who might be part cat too. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess you can... Cats, I guess, I don't know. Well, I guess some, someone's going to be like... People who hate cats are going to be like, oh, I could have told you that the old cats are psychopaths. I'm like, you don't know. You don't know anything about cats. Like, cats are fine. They just, they're just easier to take care of. Dogs need your undivided attention. Well, unless you have Frank, then Frank is a whole different story. Like, I feel like we, I was thinking like the other day, I was like, could Frank survive out in the wild? And, uh, what I think is, uh, yes, I think he could survive out in the wild if he was able to find his own food and everything. Um, but, uh, I think he needs humans. Now, I think yesterday I had to sell... I sold, like, a cajon because I'm never using it. So I sold someone on Facebook Marketplace, and they came over here to pick it up. And um, so, yeah, I kept Frank inside for obvious reasons. So I brought the cajon out. We made our transaction. Everything. So I'm going, bringing ready to go back inside. And uh, I was trying to keep Frank in there, too. But he sneaks out, runs for his life. He jumps in their vehicle. There's, like, a small child in the back seat. I don't, I, don't, I don't know them personally, FYI. It's just on something I sold on Facebook. And Frank's jumping in the car. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Frank, you're trying to get yourself killed. But I don't think a cat would ever do that. And I don't even know where I was going with this story. It's just that Frank is trying to get himself murdered. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's just 100%. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. So, uh, uh, 
or cats, psychopaths? I don't know. Uh, well, look at you. You just finished one of the many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. Glad you watched, and I hope you learned something important in your life today. Uh, we have more highlights available for you to watch out now, available now for you to watch. And uh, we got full episodes as well, so uh, don't be stingy and go watch another highlight. And uh, like I said, stay awesome.